tuning in and welcome back to my channel. So today, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marcy Diamond Elite 9010 Smith Machine and Cage System. First thing is it'll take at least six to seven hours to put this whole thing together with the help of at least two people. And then second, it doesn't come with any of the weights, so you will have to provide the weights yourself, which was no problem because you already had those. But it does have storage spots for your weights, which is cool. But yes, you will have to provide the weights yourself, but it does come with pretty much everything else. In the back is, as you see, where you will be storing most of your weights. And then, don't mind this crusty, rusty bar. Yes, it also has storage spots for your bars. Um, this one's just a little too long, so we keep that one on the ground. And then back here is the cable system, as you can see, and then this is where you'll put your weights. It comes with everything you need, all the attachments. So we have ropes, bars, we got your straps for your bicep curls in your chest, and then we also have ankle straps so you can do your glute kickbacks. And it comes with this chain to connect so when changing all of them out, it does take time because you'll actually have to twist this apart and then change them. But the cool thing about that is it is pretty much secure, so it's not gonna come out unless you physically twist this and unhook it. And the one thing that I would improve on this is the lower cable. They need to be extended um, or the chain, something needs to be a little longer. Now these ones up top extend as much as you as you need them to. This one over here as well, pretty good. And then you get to the bottom one, which wouldn't matter if you could move these up and down, but you can't. This is our only bottom one, and let me see. Yeah, this right here is pretty much as far as it goes. So I mean, if you're trying to do stuff, like you're really close. You can't get the full extension, so that is probably the only, that's pretty much the only thing I feel like they can improve on. So now to my favorite part, the Smith Machine. The system is just A1, pretty much as good as you can get, the closest thing you're going to get to the gym, especially with COVID and everything that's happened this crazy year. If you really want to just have an all-in-one home gym, it's pretty much as close as you're going to get to doing everything you would do at the gym. A lot of the machines that you would do at the gym, you can actually substitute and do them on here. Since for leg day, you can do your leg press, donkey kicks, deadlifts, hip thrusts. You can even do your leg extensions with this. You can also do your curls on here, really get your biceps. In between the Smith machine, the bench is going to cover everything you need to do for your legs. And then the bench also moves up and down. So you can do your inclined or your lying chest press, which is awesome. So you know you can do all your chest, shoulder, back stuff. Even got you covered with your triceps, biceps, again, shoulder, back, between this and all the ropes, the bars, um, you can do everything. And we also have the butterfly machine, so you can do this as well. And so this rope, all this little cable system will be powered by the cables behind me and you just add the weights on there. I mean, it pretty much has everything covered. But if you're looking for an all-in-one at-home gym, honestly, I will recommend this. I give it an eight out of 10. If you're working with a really small area, I recommend this also. Yes, this is pretty much as close as you're gonna get to be uh, to doing everything that you would do at the gym. Again, this is just a review video. This is not about the setup or putting it together at all. Um, so again, I do give it an eight out of 10. The only thing that I would recommend that I'm improving on is the lower cables. That just needs to extend a little longer, but other than that, um, it is pretty sufficient and I've enjoyed working out with this. So in the future, I plan on doing some more detailed leg videos, just showing you some of the things you can substitute with the Smith machine if you can't go to the gym or if you don't have the machines available. I'll probably make some upper body ones too, so look out for those in the future. But again, thank you guys for watching my review. If you have any comments or any questions, please leave them below. And I will see you guys next time.